Hey guys, Brad here, connecting from UB Central, and today I'm joined by Sean Crooks, the lead producer on Watch Dogs Legion. Sean, thanks for being here. It's my pleasure. Great to chat with you. So, some of the biggest news surrounding this game recently is that Aiden Pierce is going to be returning through the season pass, and I know this is DLC and it's not going to be available right away, but I was hoping that you can maybe clarify some things because a lot of people want to know if well, first off, if you have permadeath enabled and Aiden Pierce dies or any of the unique heroes, what would happen to them? Obviously, we would never, we would never, obviously, remove a character um, that that you you obviously paid for, and you, and you would never, infinitely, indefinitely, be removed from the game. So that's not something we definitely will be release some details on that uh, upcoming, just so people are aware of what the conditions are in permadeath mode. Could you maybe clarify too if? Uh, for Aiden, like, will you be able to play through the entire main story as him eventually, or is it just going to be like his specific? Mission? So actually, the the goal is to make sure that you can replay the game as Aiden Pierce. So it's a, it's a big undertaking, and it's, it's also why he's a DLC because we have to obviously work through the entire game, uh, pretending we're Aiden Pierce and seeing uh, how the scripts would look. Right. So that's a it's a it's going to be a pretty you know it's, it's pretty fun. Uh, um, approach to uh, to how we want to work with uh, Aiden and uh, it's going to be cool to do so I hope the fans are looking forward to it a lot of questions regarding online um, I know you probably can't go into specifics but is multiplayer still happening is there going to be an online could you give any information on that I can so yes multiplayer is is happening and there will be online modes and I think uh I think we're getting a bunch of info on that in the upcoming weeks, and I think there's a bunch of separate interviews going on with a bit more details on that. Great. And recently, you guys have confirmed that there's going to be multiple save slots on PC. Will that also be on like the next generation of consoles as well, or are you guys still looking into that? So currently, at launch, you will have um, just a single save slot. Um, what we are doing, which is cool though, is we're allowing that save slot to be transferred between the same generations. So for example, if you buy the game on say Xbox One and you want to upgrade for free because the game will allow you to upgrade for free if you purchase an Xbox Series X, your save file will transfer um, from the, the Xbox to the Xbox Series X. So you can continue your game. So it's, it is worthwhile if you want to buy at launch day, you can still do the free transfer and maintain your save files. That was actually my next question. So, <laughs> and the same applies to Sony too. So, a lot of people have also like been speculating when Watch Dogs Legion takes place. I've seen like you know in the next three years, five years, ten years. Do you guys have a specific year set, or uh, is it just somewhere in the near future? So actually, we don't have a particular year set, and even in development, some some parts of the game are maybe a little further forward, some parts of the game not as much. So we kind of, we stuck on a hard line of saying, you know what, let's focus on the near future and let's take a little bit of an advanced uh, view on some topics and a little bit of a more current view on some others, which allowed us to create this nice uh, fabric mix between today and uh, what might come next. After the prologue, do you... Would you spawn in as like a random character to start the game or can you just pick out of a handful of options? So that, that, that part is very different per player. So what will happen is after you finish the prologue, you you know, Sabina, um, Sabina is now uh, trying to reboot DeadSec. So she'll just basically look um, for anyone who is associated with uh, DeadSec and she'll produce a series of operatives. And then I think each team, sorry, each, each player has their own um, locally generated set of characters that are dynamically populated from um, the systems that that populate the world basically so you can choose uh, for a full from a full tile set of uh, numerous different characters for your first character then once you have your initial character um, chosen after that point onwards you're you're 100 up to you who you recruit and speaking of the story will you be able to replay like story missions after you finish the game or even like right after you finish a mission so at launch, you won't have replayable missions. However, we will be doing that as part of the um, future updates to make sure that, for example, uh, people who purchase Aiden can replay the entire story if they've so already finished the game. Mm -hmm. And in the demo that I've been playing, at least I noticed that there's just the one uh, hideout. Will there actually be multiple in the final game or is it just are you guys just sticking to the one? Um, so we wanted to focus on one hideout, basically, basically because it's um, it's a very reduced dead sec at the time uh, at the time of uh, Watch Dogs Legion. So you know, dead sec is almost wiped out, and Sabine is the only remaining person. And you kind of you'll notice at the beginning of the game you have to uh, kind of reboot Bagley, 
So we decided to focus most of that centr central um, you know, storyline around the reboot of Bagley and focusing around where Bagley servers are and, and where Sabine uh, can, can contact you directly. A lot of the marketing has been play as anyone, but could you tell uh, the people watching, like, what's something that you're excited about just regarding this game that doesn't really have to do as play as anyone or just something that most people don't know about? So, yeah, so basically one thing I'm really excited about that I think uh, we're going to communicate on a lot more is the story. So the whole idea is that um, a mysterious character called Zero Day has appeared and blown up uh, and set bombs up in, in large areas of London uh, and framed it on DedSec. So the game kind of starts with uh, DedSec being hunted down by now Albion, who is a private security force. Um, he, was, he, was, uh, he was now um, taking oppressive control under London, given those circumstances, and DedSec is all but wiped out. Uh, luckily, one of the characters, Sabine, survives and she's a manage you know she she escapes and manages to start and reboot deadsec which is where you come in and choose your first playable operative but at the same time your first mission is to is to reboot a crazy ai assistant called bagley um who is basically like a hacked uh, you know ai assistant from uh, you know home devices who then helps you um you know reboot deadsec try and peel behind who is zero day why did they bomb london why did they frame deadsec and then as you start to discover these other villains like Nigel Cass, the CEO of Albion, or Mary Kelly, the head of the, one of the biggest London crime syndicates, um, how are all these different villains who are taking advantage of that power vacuum related to um, what Zero Day is doing? So you slowly start to investigate that, uncover the reasons and how these things are all connected, and then start to see the, the bigger picture. So that's that's the part I'm, I'm uh, really excited that, that players get to discover because it's, the story and the writing is phenomenal. I, so this is just a question for you. Like, how many times have you played through the game, like from start to finish? You know what? It, it it's crazy. A lot and a lot and also not at all. It's hard to do it in one sitting. So we kind of do it in batches. Or we do a particular spot 20, 30 times in a row. So you you kind of you kind of have different experiences depending on where you are in your production. Um, and, and one thing I love to do. Uh, when I when I finish my titles uh, is I sit back in my living room, you know, my feet up and I just wipe my memory of all the things I learned in the production. I give it like a couple of weeks and I just sit down and play as a home, uh, you know, a home player, just my own games, just to see, you know, that experience. And we, we try and do that as much as possible in development. We have our playtest labs. Um, we have what we call XP reviews where we sit down as a, as a group in a lab and we headsets down and we try and play the whole game focused. But nothing beats sitting at home with your feet, feet up on a couch playing it without, you know, without it being, you know, having to, to produce work at the other end of it, just it being purely for fun. So I'm actually looking forward to the game releasing and getting to do that. Yeah, so Legion releases October 29th. It's going to be available on current gen consoles, next gen consoles, as well as PC and Google Stadia. Uh, thank you so much, Sean, for answering all these questions. I really appreciate it. And I'm sure everyone watching does as well. No problem. I'm just going to give you a, a quick update on that one. It's also launching November 12th um, on PS5 and November 10th on Xbox Series X, just so you know. Thank you so much.